All right, guys, it's uh, Two Dudes Reviews again at, coming at you. Uh, we're doing a follow-up to our root beer video. Uh, we've got six more to try. Um, well, Dad's, uh, I think, won the last time Dad's around. Dad's won the last one. We both like a good bite on our root beer, and uh, that, one, that one definitely took the cake. Um, Barks was last, I believe. And I think it might have been, yeah. We'll have to go back and check, but... Uh, how many of these ones have you had so far? Well, I can say I've had this one, um, not that one, that one, that one, I believe only in a restaurant atmosphere, and this one. All right. How about you? Uh, I have had this one, this one for sure, hometown, uh, Sprecher for no, sure. Hometown shot out there. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, that's it. So, all right, both about fifty percent. So, if you can't read it, we've got uh, Sioux City root beer right here. Uh, this is one is called uh, from Frosty. We got Sprecher, nineteen nineteen, Jones, and then this is a Minnesota company called Northern Craft Soda. Uh, it's uh, made here in Minnesota. Uh, they use nothing but uh, cane sugar. Sweet, I'm ready to dig in. All right, uh, you got a quarter with you? I do not have a quarter. With All right, <laughs> well, uh, we can go crab. I can. We can flip we're, we're, a, crab, a crab. We'll, we'll flip your uh, your Aaron uh, bottle opener here. All right. And uh, so Aaron up, heads up. Uh, we'll start on the right. Uh, bottom up. Uh, we'll start on the left. Okay. You didn't want to do the crabs because you just got rid of yours. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Aaron's right. up. We're starting on uh, Sioux right City here. All right. Twist off. Nice. Perfect. These are all chilled to perfection. They've been chilling overnight. A little bubbly. Not a lot of bubble. Mm, that one's going to have a good bite. Less bite than I thought. A little sugary. Smooth. Smooth, yeah. Good. A little, little bit at the very, very end. It's got a little ginger. I didn't yeah. notice. Nice little bite to it, but uh, overall, it's a yeah, solid decent. rip here. It's a solid rip That was Sioux City, huh? That was the Sioux City, yep. We got our own little uh, shaker here. Make sure everything's not cross-contaminating each other. Well, we're cleaning out our palates with our favorite beer. This one for me, uh, Mick Gold. Oh, look at that, a little bush latte. Thanks. All right, well, beer, root beer, number two. This one also is a Frosty. Twist, twist off. Let me see the label on that. This is uh, trying to appeal to all the old fat guys out there. Yep. <laughs> uh, depiction of Santa Claus here. This one's a little darker. This one's a little darker, not as bubbly. Similar nose as the Sioux City. A little bit more bite initially and kind of throughout the whole thing. Overall, no, no flavor kicks out at the end. It's consistent. It's consistent, yeah. Very consistent. Is very consistent. The Sioux City had a little bit of bite at the end. This one just the whole way through was kind of this exactly the same. Exactly, I'd agree. Alright, the striker. Uh, there's probably a fair number of people that would think that the Sprecher is going to be uh, number one. I think you had that one on your number one for a while. Oh, thank you. Um, you know what good about root beer is you get, <coughs> you know, get a good belch out. <laughs> yeah. This has got a lot more bubbles. Hmm. That's kind of like the Sioux City. Just a tiny little bit of a bite. Just kind of smooth and sugary. Yeah, 
Only real difference is a little more carbonation, I feel. Yeah. I can see that. All right, here we go. 1919 Rip Beer. This one uh, has real sugar in it as well. Trying to get all the water out of here. Absolutely no bubbles I'm seeing right now. Oh, there they come. Uh, there you go. That's a good one. Rip beer. beer. <laughs> <laughs> A lot sweeter, more vanilla. A lot more vanilla. That would be a good ice cream rub beer. Yeah, that'd be that'd I be a good I, ice cream. I think rub that's beer. what the main main use of that one is. A lot of vanilla. Yeah. It's like a liquid dessert. Yes, I agree. That one's uh, that one's a solid. So if you're going for a sweet tooth. Um, that is looking to so far that would definitely be the best one to pair in a root beer for. I think overall, look thinking back to uh, the other root beers we've done, I think that would that would just be a really great root beer float. Yeah, yeah. so much vanilla. I mean, you you may not even you know if you don't have any ice cream and you're thinking root beer float, just ice. get one of those. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's pretty close. Yep, a lot of ice. All right, two more. This one here, we, we got to cleanse our palate, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. We got, we got to cleanse our palate. <sighs> Rocking the new Puma hat. <laughs> if you're all wondering. Video's coming. Uh, we're doing some uh, on-course videos, uh, on-golf course videos, that is. Yeah, I got we're trying new, it out, so. new Cobra Rad Speed. Killing it, by the way. All right, Jones Cola, Jones Soda. Really sweet and kind of has a really funky, weird taste to it. That's got holy shit! Watch the language there. <laughs> no, um, it's, it's, it's got kinda, a syrupy, uh, yeah, you know, a, an old school black licorice. Uh, it has a weird, definitely a weird taste to it. That's like medicine. That is grandpa's cough syrup right there. Very odd. That is oddball. All right. Final one in the root beer category. And uh, I'm sure there's plenty more. If you want to see a follow-up to this and you have not seen your favorite root beer yet, uh, drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like, <laughs> subscribe, yeah. share, hit that notification bell. That was a good burp, guys. Uh, comment below also if you want us to uh, review anything else. Um, we're always looking for new suggestions. So, last one, Northern Soda. Lots of bite, really smooth. It's a different kind of bite though. It's got a really uh, different nose to it too. It's, yeah, that's different. And that's, these two at the end are a lot different than these four, I would say. Yeah. So, do you have a winner in your, uh, in my, in my, out of these six, Frosty's my winner. Just from it being kind of smooth and bitey the whole way through, I think Frosty's my winner. We agree on this as well. I'm going Frosty. That was overall consistent all across the board. Unfortunately Delivered. for me, this is the bottom. I would agree with that as well. Followed by that. <laughs> these two are pretty close to me. Their flavor uh, makeup was... A lot different than those those other yeah, four. Yeah, they definitely were. Well, even these three were completely different flavor makeups compared to the more classic root beers. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, yeah hit that like, uh, share, subscribe. Yeah, keep us going. It's been a while. I've had a few people ask when we're going to do another video, and 
Tell us what you think, uh, if you think we made the right choice. If you've had any of these before, comment below. Uh, you know, tell us which, which one's your favorite so far. Alrighty, peace it. Later.